This video is brought to you by Yu-Gi-Oh! Mint.com. Hey! What is poppin' people? It is your boy, Blank Page, coming at you with another video. And what you guys are gonna watch today is my Dynamist slash Great Old Deck Profile. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Go ahead and smack that like button for me. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe down below for my Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I upload Yu-Gi-Oh! at least once or twice a day, Monday through Sunday. So, if you guys are down for that shit, just subscribe. Alright, now, some of you might be questioning, why am I using Gradles with this Dynamist deck here? Well, one, Gradle Slime is a level 5 tuner monster, and all of these Dynamist monsters right here are level 5. So, uh, Gradle Slime plus some of these... Level 5 Dynamis cards actually open up some pretty insane uh, extra deck cards right down here. Starting off with Ultima Zulkan, aka Crimson Dragon. If you guys can make this card, you guys can then easily special summon level 7 and level 8 dragon type synchro monsters, which is why we have a good uh, variety right here. And all you have to do is just make him with the means of slime and with the means of any of these Dynamis cards right here. And then afterwards, once you guys special summon or secret summon Ultimate Zulkin, you guys then just have to uh, set one spell card or trap card down. And then from there, you guys can special summon one level 7 or level 8 Dragon Synchro Monster. And yeah, that's basically why I mix together uh, Gradles with Dynamis. And that they're water monsters, and that Gradles are just the bitch to deal with in the first place. So, um, you know, uh, it just makes the deck more competitive at, at least. Uh, besides all that, I'm now just going to jump right in into the deck profile, guys. Alright, starting off, I am running three Dynamist Rex, three Dynamist Ceratops, and three Dynamist Brachion. And that is it for all the Dynamist cards. For some great old cards and just rest of the cards within my main deck, there is three Great Old Slime, three Reese the Ice Mistress, three Geomancer of the Ice Barrier, three Great Old Eagle, three Great Old Cobra, three Gradle Alligator, and that is it for all the monsters within my main deck. For some spell cards, there is two Salvage, three Dynamis Charge, three Supply Squad, two D Synchro, which just comes in handy because sometimes you'll make like a Moonlight Rose Dragon, destroy all your opponent's shit, then D Synchro it, and then just get your monsters back. And sometimes you might just make Ultimate Zulkin, get out a, like, I don't know, a Beals or something, then you'll D Synchro it, and I don't know, it, it can, this card can just lead to some really, really awesome plays, which is why I'm playing it at two. And then for the trap card, uh, there is three Phoenix Chain. And that is it for the main deck, guys. 27 monsters, 10 spells, three traps. For some extra deck cards, there is two Cyber Dragon Nova and two Cyber Dragon Infinity. If you guys want to make three Nova and three Infinity, I would not look down upon it. Uh, you guys can definitely do it. And, um, I know Infinity is just a broken card, and we all know that. And, uh, making three of him is definitely, um, not fun to play around. So, um, you know, if you guys want to try it for it, you guys can definitely do so. We have enough level fives in the deck to try it. So, um, you know, right now I'm just doing two, though. Uh, just because, uh, two feels like the max for me. Because sometimes I'll want to go in for some more awesome plays with Ultimate Zulkun or something. But, yeah. For some synchro monsters within my extra deck, I'm running two Goyo Guardian, two Crimson Dragon, one Moonlight Rose Dragon, one Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, one Stardust Dragon, one Red Dragon Archfiend, one Red Dragon Archfiend Scarite, one Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, and one Beals of the Diabolic Dragons. And that is it for the extra deck, guys. Yeah, basically just four XCs. And then 11 Synchros. For some side deck cards, there is Scrap Iron Scarecrow, which works in perfect combination with Ultima Zulkin. Because if you guys just read its effect, you guys can pause the video if you want right here. But mainly, it just means that every time your opponent attacks into you, you can flip this card up, and they get to attack, then flip it back down. So it's like a reoccurring trap card that can never really get destroyed unless MST'd or Galaxy Cycloned. Or, you know, something like that. So, uh, that's why I'm running it. It works perfectly with Ultima Zulkin, which is why it's down here in the side deck. If you guys just want to pop it into the main deck, you guys can easily do so. There's also Spiritual Water Art Aoi. I think that's how you say 
the last word of that card. I'm not really sure. Uh, you know, I probably butchered the fuck out of it. But, um, yeah, it just works with water type monsters. And, uh, yeah, that's why it's here. For some other cards, there is Break Draw, Aqua Jet, because why not? We have a bunch of water type monsters right up in here. So, you know, you know, might as well give it, um, I think it's plus uh, 1,000 attack. Yeah, so um, that, that's pretty good. There's also Great Old Dragon, Cloud Castle, which just allows you to target one level 9 monster in your graveyard, and then Special Summon it. And that basically also says level 8 or lower monsters cannot attack the turn they are normal or special summoned. So this card can really stall out your opponent sometimes, but it can also stall out you if you do not, uh, you know, have a level 9 monster out in the field. But obviously we have, uh, you know, some of these cards <laughs> right to the right of it. So uh, we have Trishula, you know, he's a pretty beast card, that's why he's at 1. There is Kaofang, Phantom of the Yang Zing, he's really good. There's Mistworm, which is basically just like Trishula, except, um, I don't know, his effect is that when this card is Synchro Summoned, return up to three cards your opponent controls to the hand. I know that uh, Trishula banishes one card from the uh, battlefield, one card from your opponent's deck, and one card from your opponent's hand all to the banner zone. Uh, but Mistworm, basically, it just it's kind of just like a dumbed-down version of it, or, you know, a watered-down version of it. But, uh, yeah, Mistworm's pretty good. There's Shooting Star Dragon, Ascension Sky Dragon, and then Leo, the Keeper of the Sacred Tree. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for my side deck, guys. Um, Supply Squad here just allows you to put in some really good draw power. Uh, these guys won't really be destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Uh, if you guys just put them in your Pendulum Zone. Uh, Gradle Slime, Beast Card, allows you to make Ultimate Zulkin. And it can just really help with uh, these uh, level f rank fives, as here. And then obviously, uh, Gradle Slime plus any of these three monsters, level three monsters right here, can also get you out like a Stardust Dragon or any of these uh, Red Dragon Archfiend cards. And then we also have um, Reese the Ice Mistress and Geomancer of the Ice Barrier as some secondary tuners. This is level two, so this card plus a level three can actually make a level five. Um, synchro, which we don't actually have, but I can come up with a really good one just for you guys at the top of my head, which is our maids. So, um, he can just go right into the side deck right there. And then, um, Geomancer of the Ice Barrier is just a level 3 tuner plus a level 3 monster, obviously makes Goyo Guardian. And then, if you guys just get enough, gets and then if you guys just get off another Gradle monster on the field. Plus Geomancer, you can then easily just go right into Trishula or into any of these other uh, level 9 Synchro monsters right here, which is uh, Mistworm, Kaofang, and then Trishula. And uh, yeah, that's why these guys are basically here, and they're really good because they cannot really be easily destroyed. This card cannot be destroyed by level 4 or higher monsters, so if you guys just put this Kai in face down defense position, and then once your opponent attacks into him, he will not be destroyed and he will not take any damage. Unless, of course, he has an XC monster. And he may or may not have that. Um, you, you have to take your chance, though. And then Geomancer of the Ice Barrier. Uh, you can declare one attribute. And then this card cannot be destroyed or selected as an attack target by that uh, one attribute in most decks nowadays. One Usually one run one attribute. Per deck, like uh, Burning Abyss, they're dark. Shadows, they're dark. Lights, horns, they're light monsters. So, um, you know, that's, that's what this card is basically here for. So, uh, it's good. And then, yeah, the rest of it is pretty self explanatory. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, leave me a thumbs up down below. And sorry for my stuttering just a couple of seconds ago where I was trying to explain Geomancer of the Ice Barrier. It is kind of late, and it, it is uh, 1 o'clock in the morning here, so I'm, you know, I'm staying up late for pretty much for this. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and hopefully you, you guys will enjoy playing with this deck. And I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Adios. Before I end this video, I just want to give a shout out to my sponsor, YugiOhMint.com. They're an awesome website with a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, and other TCG products. 
A link to their website will be at the top of my description. And with that being said, please check them out.